after the concerns, the laughter, the backlash. Is the recently dropped Gears 5 Versus trailer just what the doctor ordered to get the mind share and excitement back for the game? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, yo, can you do me a huge favor? You know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because I'm not too proud to ask, all right? Here's the deal. We know the, we, we know the deal with the, the Gears 5. Uh, saga, okay? But in case you've been living under a rock, Gears 5 has suffered from serious, serious, serious problems before launch. First of all, this horrible rollout strategy, you know, um, as far as breaking up different segments of the game that they're going to show off in different months prior to release of the game. And the most sought after part, which is the campaign is not being showed until I believe the day the game releases. <laughs> uh, you know, you had the horrible um, presentation of the game on the E3 stage, really didn't show you anything. And then more recently, you had the issue with the whole smoking controversy where um, even though they had already taken it out of the game prior, they really took smoking imagery out of the game in four. Uh, Rod Ferguson had to, in, in conjunction with the Truth campaign, an anti-smoking campaign, government-funded campaign, along with Turner, uh, that hosts esports um, events. They had to, in, in, in co-existence uh, with them, they released some statements lauding, hey, we're taking smoking out of the game which many in the hardcore content brass thought that was a, a slight towards them. So amidst all of that, they dropped this trailer. And your boy got to tell you, man, 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 <laughs> they rolled that beautiful bean footage, man. Hey, yo, that trailer was bloody. It was uncensored. And that end sequence, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, old girly waving her hand at the end. I'm not going to spoil it. I urge you after this video, if you have not seen it, please go watch that uh, Gears versus trailer. Okay. The trailer then, once it was released, because of how just out of uh, the norm of Microsoft and Xbox, well, with Xbox right now, with the blood and gore and the hardcore, you know, uh, uh, realm that it was it seems like it was built from set the internet on blaze man and i see my playstation peoples out there i see you ponies out there y'all try it man but it ain't working man hey, hey yo that trailer was hot man no doubt about it but what does this all mean you know again you had the backlash because of the horrible rollout and the whole smoking controversy and the, and the poor showing at e3 then you had this single trailer that came out and it was out of the norm again for what Xbox has been doing as far as presenting its games, even its quote unquote hardcore AAA games. Well, I'm going to first and foremost tell you this. Microsoft begrudgingly did this. You could tell because there was no hype behind the trailer. Like normally when Xbox and company think they got a gem on their hands and they drop something that they really wanted to talk to the masses about. They drop it and they followed up with tweets. You saw none of that, right? Um, and then, you know what I'm saying? It came at the backlash again of the whole smoking controversy. So just with Microsoft going on like a, a, a hiatus as far as social media is concerned, except for advertising a few things here and there, I see that they scrambled, put something together, put this out there. And it was a good result. It was a real good result. And what it shows, more importantly than not, is that the cappers ain't doing it for you. Okay? They're not doing it for you. You tried not really showing any blood and any gore at E3, the stage where the hardcore come to. 
Something like this should have been showed there. But you held it off because you were trying to appease the cappers. Okay. And then, you know what I'm saying? You do the whole smoking thing with the truth and release a statement, even though you've already taken it out of the game. You you made a you you made it a point to censor it out the game from here on out. Okay? And you did it in four and didn't make a statement. So you did that to what? Appease the cappers. All right. And what do I mean by cappers? If you don't know what I mean when I say that, the people that are capping or AKA making excuses for all the little silly, stupid, sugary water stuff that Microsoft or Xbox has been doing as of, as of late as it relates to gaming. They make all these types of excuses, but we see they're not playing the games. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're not supporting the product, you know, but they'll go on social media and be tip tap warriors all day. You know what I mean? Them cappers, you know what I mean? Those appeasers did not come out in full force to support you for the smoking thing, to support you enough for E3. And you're starting to see that on the hinges of Sony saying that they're going to create their box to support the hardcore, even yours. The group that's mainly supporting you now, the people that have decided to stick to the hardcore. On the heels of Sony not playing nice after your memorandum and going after your crew hard, I think Microsoft is starting to realize that if you support the hardcore, you will flourish. I mean, it's not only this with Gears, but I did a video not too long ago. Look at their content out on YouTube now. I mean, ever since E3, it ain't that sugary as my man Next Gen 720 likes to say that that diabetic gaming type stuff, man. They dropping some more edgier stuff consistently. So take notice. And there's some other things. I'm going to drop a video on this later. You know, you want to be the Netflix of gaming. But Netflix is, is setting the, the, the show, the, setting the, the, the stage, showing you that you got a piece to your hardcore. If you want to be successful, quote unquote, like us, then you got to appease your hardcore. And it's showing in the results. And I'll get into that in a later video. So with that said, Microsoft, Phil Spencer, Xbox in general, support your hardcore, man. Even if we ain't your favorite kids. We still your kids. <laughs> you got to love us all. And if you show us love, even though we may be your least favorite kids, we might be those kids that surprise you. We might be the ones that you thought was going to be in and out of jail, no job, out in the street. We might be the valedictorians and the ones that run their own business. We might be the ones that take you to glory, Phil. Support all of your consumers like a typical business would do, man. Because the current trajectory prior to all this is not working. Okay? So just keep that in mind. The proof is in the pudding. Cappers didn't come out for all of you and your sugar diabetes statements. They came out in full support just by dropping the trailer, man. Feed us and we will grow. With that being said, that's it from your boy MM2K8. Hey, let me know what you think about what I have to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, you can come with me and come at me. It don't matter to your boy. But if you did like what I had to say, click the links below to follow me because I'm on the corner of every boulevard, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Dirk Riggity, Snow Bunny, Neethal. It's called Scram Punks. It airs every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dirk Riggity's channel. Just look up hashtag Scram Punks for more information on that. Follow my brother and the broadband bullies. We out here doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Check out that Discord link where we be cutting it up. It's all jokes, baby. It's all fun and jokes. All right? then, you know, check out that Patreon link because we need y'all support to keep the material up. And also, check out that gear because it's fly. And as always, oh, 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 I almost forgot. Hey, yo. Your boy got a new channel now, okay? It's called the Hard Knock Digital Culture. We're, hard, we're highlighting all hardcore, gritty gaming and media, including anime and martial art movies and shows. Something different. It's something unique, but it's something that's going places. You definitely want to check it out, man. Uh, we air it on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash mightymost2000, okay? You see it in the, in, in the ticker below. And with that being said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.